All right, Onotaway Valley grinds it out. They pull away late, went at 44 to 18 over East Natchez here tonight. Here with some big contributors now, Lane Larrabee, Preston Jenkins, also Ben Cordell here tonight. And guys, to start us off here, you grind that one out early, able to pull away late there. Uh, just kind of your thoughts on this one here for you guys. Yeah, so we knew we had to come out aggressive and get off the ball and be as physical as we could. And at halftime, we were ready to go. We had all the fuel we needed in us and just came out and hit them. Well said. Sure, obviously the defensive side of the ball for you guys tonight. Uh, obviously pressing. You got the scoring started actually tonight with that pick six there. Kind of walk us through what you saw in that play. Um, kind of he, as Shipley actually said at the beginning of the game, I, you sit back, he thinks one of our linebackers will get a pick and potentially a pick six, which it was. Well, he, he kind of scrambled out and I sat back like I was supposed to in the corner of my eye. I see the receiver coming. I was like, coming up, I was going to hit him. And then he threw the ball. I was like, well, it's mine. <laughs> Certainly, and obviously uh, just the defensive front in general for you guys tonight was uh, pretty dominant. A lot of tackles in the back, a lot of sacks. A couple of those for you, Ben, here tonight. Just kind of kind of speak to your performance. What did you feel was working there uh, from that defensive line spot? Well, I think we just got a good push. Always good with our hands. Got to get back there. So it seems like you guys got maybe four or five guys, obviously. Kind of speak to the depth there on that defensive line for you guys this season. Oh, we have fantastic depth. If Say one of us goes down, we got a next guy coming up that's just as good, and they're ready to eat too. So it's fantastic. We got depth this year. Elaine, obviously the offense finds some life there in that second half as well. You wind up with four rushing touchdowns tonight. Kind of, kind of talk a little bit what you felt, uh, what you thought of your performance here tonight. Well, started off with a uh, certain plays and stuff. Could tell stuff wasn't working. We were getting beat and stuff. Had to switch things up. Uh, after the first quarter, made some adjustments. After the half, made even more adjustments. Stuff just started flowing. Guys started hitting people. We started getting momentum on defense. That gave us a little more momentum on offense. Then we just started, I, I, I think we just started just out hustling them and stuff, and it just gave us the, uh, the power to keep going. Absolutely. And just on the defensive side for you guys tonight, what did you feel overall was just uh, kind of the difference there to be able to hold this East Atchison offense to 18 points tonight? I think it's all mentality. You gotta think kill, kill, kill. So to get a win like this, you grind it out. Uh, how big is that for you guys here to obviously stay unbeaten here this season and move in uh, to another tough matchup next week? I mean, we've got to come back to practice, enjoy this win, but come back to practice next week, sit in the classroom for a little bit, study them, get it hard. Our scout team, they bring it every single day, and we get a good look every single day. We just got to bring it to them next week. Always getting better. That's on the win tonight, guys. Thank you. All right, once again, Ottawa Valley wins this one 44-18 over East Atchison here tonight. Here now with head coach Alan Calfee. And coach, obviously, you guys kind of grind that one out there early. You're able to pull away uh, there late in that second half. Just kind of kind of your thoughts and your takeaways for your for the win for you for you guys tonight. Good win for us. Uh, hats off to our O and D line. You know, uh, their physicality and their presence up front made a huge difference. And then uh, when they're getting pressure on that QB and flushing him and making him move, uh, that makes it easier on the back end on defense and then offensively just our ability to pound the ball and then hit the pass when we needed it. So then it seems like you guys got maybe four or five guys that are up front who are able to pretty consistently get pressure. Just kind of kind of talk obviously the defensive front and what they're able to bring to the field for you guys. Oh yeah, and then uh, like you said, rotating guys, keeping pressure, keeping guys fresh uh, uh, with Ben Cordell and Tyler Gray at D-end, and then we've got at D-tackle Garrett Carpenter, and then Oren Goff's played some D-tackle linebacker, D-end, wherever we need him. DeAndre Mincy rotating in, and then Preston Jenkins coming back this week. Uh, was a allowed us to keep constant rotation and keep guys fresh. Obviously, you, you mentioned Ben Cordell. We, uh, we mentioned his name quite a bit tonight. He's getting the backfield a lot. I kind of speak to uh, kind of the leadership he brings to that defensive front. He's a quiet guy, so it's more of a lead by example. He's not going to say a whole lot. He's not going to complain. He's just going to do what he's supposed to. And you're not going to really hear him say a whole lot. So it's more of a lead by example, kind of like when you wanted to interview him. He goes, do I have to do one of these? So that's just kind of the kid he is. Uh, but we're definitely glad to have him and uh, does an awesome job for us. Obviously, the offense, they're able to find a little life there in that second half, take advantage of some good field position. Uh, uh, what did you guys feel was kind of the difference there on that offensive side of the ball in the second half? I think just us settling in. I think we might have been, had a little nerves early. And then up front, I think 
with us constantly rotating people, we were able to stay fresher, I think was a big part of it. And then just the kid missioning part of it, I think, helped us in the long run. Obviously, Elaine Larrabee had, I believe, it was four rushing touchdowns for him tonight, a big night for him. Uh, just kind of speak to his performance and what he's really brought to this offense so far this year. Uh, he does a good job. He's a kid that hasn't played since his freshman year. So uh, getting back into it, uh, so we're not trying to put too much on his plate, but he does a very good job uh, uh, being trying to be a leader and then uh, a kid that doesn't get too high or too low and does a good job of leading our offense and he'll continue to grow as the season goes. Obviously, you guys moved to 3-0 and on the season. You know, to get a win like this where, you know, you kind of grind it out for a little bit, you find some life there late. How big is that for you guys to uh, as you move on to next week? Uh, that's huge for us. Like I told the guys, enjoy it. But uh, we've got Platte Valley next week. That's going to be another physical team coming in. So we've got to prepare for that and be ready for them next week in Hopkins. Congrats on the win tonight, Coach. All right, thank you.